It's inevitable that I have to analyze the modern fedora. Not the whack-ass fashion statement. I'm talking about people that are labeled fedoras. I have to, like, explain what that is because it is so full of contradictions. Male feminists are considered fedoras. MRAs are considered fedoras, even though they're supposed to be diametrically opposed, yet they're a false division. Those militant atheists that whine on in INT, intelligent on 4chan, yeah, those guys, yet the wannabe theologians, the Reactotards, they're given the fedora label. And caps. Wanna be fascist. The funny thing is, you can do all these things and come off as a troll gay tension whore. But if you do them all in a certain way, you come off more as a fedora. And I found out that. It's not a left-wing issue, it's not a right-wing issue. It's an issue of people that aren't socially up there. They're introverted and socially off enough that they really can't flow with modernism in a proper way. They become contaminated by it. That's essentially what happens. I mean, they're so disconnected from the social spheres that modernism hits them in a stronger way. And the opposite is also true, but it doesn't make you a fedora. It just makes you fucked up in another way where you're so in this world that you actually get hit by it hard too. Extreme introversion, extreme extroversion. Because of all the things modernism provides, you might get hit by something really hard if you go to any extreme. But that's just regarding your personality. And when I see these kind of people, I really don't. hate them for that shit because they didn't choose the fedora life. The fedora life chose them. We like badly misquoting or cherry picking Tupac quotes because he's supposed to be cool but in all honesty that's how it works. We didn't choose that. That, that fedora life chose us. And these people will keep getting stuck in that pattern. Is the fedora life unavoidable? Once you're chosen, is it this thing where you can't get out? I'd have to think long and hard about anybody that's ever been associated with the fedora label. Because... It is possible for these people to become more socially adept enough so that they have a grasp on reality and they don't fully fall into the modernist trap. But it's just going to get worse because modernism is getting stronger. It's getting more powerful. It's getting more avenues and striking all places possible so introverts you might not even have to be that introverted now before all you had to do is be really skilled with computers and programming and you didn't have to be such a noob to be a fedora you had to actually know your shit 
that actually have talent. Half of these fedoras now don't have any talent. They don't have any skills. They don't know shit. They're the smart underachievers. But there's nothing to tell us they're underachievers other than the fact that they're smart. That's it. But they don't have a skill. Their YouTube videos suck. And they're not very funny or entertaining. They're just guys stuck in some TFW and well, no, no, GF. I don't know why no isn't put in the acronym. I guess it's too small. It'd be kind of funny. T F W no GF. That feel with no girlfriend. That's weird. And to be honest, I'm starting to feel that I'm a lot whiter than most people give me credit for on the Storm Chan side of things. Because stuff like that just strikes me as ugh, weird. Even Aspie like me, I'm too white for this shit. It's kind of why I like anime so much, because I can laugh at the weirdness of these characters. They're like, they're not white. They're absurdly Asian. They're readily malleable for modernism. And it's not like they're channeling modernism modernism for new heights. Like some of these swipples and hipsters and Brahmins are just trying to out Brahmin each other. No, they're just confused, lost souls. It's kinda of why I think that the postmodern lefties there is some psychological aspects of them that make them oven material. Yeah, there's something in there that's inherently white. More mulatto, but white. So, is Mr. Wonka 7. And y'all can go to hell. Think about it.